Hey everybody, this is uh, Rocknez. Today I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and my, my humble opinion on the Jaybird Freedom wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Oh, let's do it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video and uh, give my thoughts on the Jaybird Freedom wireless. Let's see here. Now I picked this up at uh, Best Buy for $1.99. Yeah, it's got nice packaging, nice presentation. Let me take this tab off. Like so, here are the earbuds themselves. Okay. Okay, this is the, the battery pack and the charging port, the docking station, so you can charge the, the battery. Let's see here. Earbuds themselves. Okay. Inline remote. I guess that's where you put the battery at. Like so. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Carrying bag, Jaybird. It's a magnetic bag. Okay. You get two packs of uh, ear tips, three sets each, small, medium, large. Small, medium, large, you got comply phone tips and the regular rubberized ones. You've got a set of three wing tips, small, medium, and large. You also have a clip. And these little white tabs, I guess it's just a, uh, when you tie these up, you can clip them on and they shorten the cable. Let's see what else. You got a micro USB to USB charger. Okay, it's got the instruction manual. And hmm, that's about it in the box. Well, I'm gonna give these guys a couple of days listen. And I'll be back with my findings and, and tell you what I think about them. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, these are my uh, thoughts and impressions on the Jaybird Freedoms. Now I gave these guys a good week's worth of listening. And this is my conclusion. So far the build quality, eh, it's what you can expect from uh, Bluetooth earbuds and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty light, cable's pretty thin. Now I'm actually going to compare them back and forth to the original Jaybirds that I bought uh, quite a few uh, a few years ago. Now as far as uh, comparing it, they're almost about the same size. Obviously the <laughs> the earbuds themselves, these are huge compared to these. But then again the battery is inside here where the inline remote control is at. And this one does not have it, it's actually inside and one of these right here. Uh, let's see, yeah, this one right here. Now the benefits uh, of having it on here is that if you lose, I mean, you can always charge it. Now, whereas on this, this is proprietary. You need to have the, you need to have this little battery accessory. It's a battery, and it's actually a docking station, a cradle for the Bluetooth device itself. It snaps into place like so. You can see right there. I don't know if you can see that right there. Once it's fully charged, the light will turn green. But if you don't have this, you can't charge it. And at the time that I bought this, I didn't see any extra battery packs. So it'll uh, it'll behoove you to, to buy at least one more just in case you lose this. Because if you do lose this, you're screwed. Now, uh, as far as uh, accessories, like I said earlier, you know, you got a bag. I'm not too crazy about this bag. I actually prefer the little hard case cover. This little clamp case cover that uh, case that it originally came with. I feel more secure with this, especially since given the price, this is $199. Now, let's see. Oh, and I would really, really uh, suggest carefully going through all the ear tips to see which one fits best to you and what type of uh, style you would you rather have it in your ears whether it's just directly in there now if you directly put the ears I mean the 
the earbuds directly into your ears, you're going to need these little ear tips to hold it in place. They actually kept falling out of my ears if they're just, just like this. You really do need these to hold them in place. Now my preferred method is uh, over the ears and then place them in there. This way I don't need the ear tips and they, they fit much better that way and they don't move at all. And then you use these little clips here to shorten the wire up. Now I wish they would have brought me a, I wish it would have came with a couple more tips. This way, uh, if you lose these and you have another set, I don't know if you can buy an extra ones in these, but I'm pretty sure you can, but right now I haven't seen any of those available. And let's see here, what else? Um, as far as sound quality, the original ones are colored. Highs are a little bit pushed and the mids are a little bit pushed up. But uh, you, uh, that's to be expected because you can't adjust the EQ on them just like you can with these. These are totally flat. When you get them out of the box, I can see why some people are not going to like the way they sound because they're flat. All the way across the board, they're flat. Now, the great thing about these is that you can actually EQ these up. You have an app that you can get on either uh, and your Android device or your Apple device. Now, once you do that, you can actually go online, download the app, hit Jaybird, and there you go. It's actually pretty cool. It's, uh, it's very similar to the Odyssey app. You can choose your sound field, signature one, customize it. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that that well. And yeah, it looks very nice. It's a much cooler app than uh, the one for Odyssey. I mean, Odyssey does the same thing. But this one here takes it a little bit step further. You have different types of uh, sound fields, different EQs, and then you also have different, well, they're supposedly they're going to one day have uh, different artists on here right now they have different athletes and their sound signature that you can try their sound signature out let's see here this is Lawrence Fleshman this is her type of sound signature like so now, it's pretty cool I like this much better than the Odyssey ones you can actually see this is the Odyssey type right here It's pretty plain Jane but also it's the same as this. If you save your EQ preference, it'll download it onto the device itself. So if you take your device and put it on a different device, you'll still have that saved uh, uh, EQ sound on your device, which is pretty cool. And you can always set it back to default settings later on. Let's see. And as far as, uh, let's see here. Mm, I really do like these uh, earbuds. Uh, I'm a little bit biased because I do like Jaybirds. And they're pretty sweat resistant. I've used these for uh, about two or three days out of the week uh, walking around in 90 degree plus weather over here in Florida. And I think they work extremely well. They're very comfortable. They're very light. I mean, once you have the spare battery on here, you do notice that the, the weight's not heavy, but you do notice that it's on your ear. Now, do I recommend these for $199? Um, yeah, I do. I actually think they're worth $199. But if you can get them cheaper, then I would go the cheaper route. Maybe $149, like the original ones were. Then that would be better. But those are my uh, thoughts on these. And hey, I really like these. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.